What's up, y'all? Um, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to pad your Nerf uh, blasters and like stocks and stuff to make them more comfortable uh, when you use them. So what you're going to need is your Nerf thing. This is a stockade stock. I've already done it. You'll also need scissors or some other means of cutting stuff. If you use like an X-Acto knife, you'll want a cutting board. Then you'll need craft foam. These are just like small sheets. They're like the size of a quarter piece of this kind of printer paper. You can see right there, it's like a quarter of a sheet. You can use any craft foam really you're going to be cutting it. Then you're going to need hot glue gun. And hot glue. So this is my Alpha Trooper. You can see I patted it here and here. And the craft foam, if you do some layers, this one only has one layer but it's still really soft. Then this has two layers in some spots and it's just super squishy, super soft, super comfy. And then the stockade stock has like six or something. It's kind of ridiculous. Maybe it's like four or five, but it has a lot of layers. So it's super squishy and soft and stuff. So basically what I did for this on the handle is I took like half a sheet of craft foam that goes from here to here. And I just um, kind of cut it to size. Then I put hot glue around the rear of the handle and just uh, laid that down. Trying, I tried to make it pretty even. And then I just worked one side at a time. And I just kind of laid hot glue down here, pushed it down here, pushed it down until I eventually had the whole piece hot glued down. And then I took a strip just to make it look kind of in my opinion nicer and it goes from here around um, then these are just three strips that I laid one two three hot glued those then for this I used almost an entire sheet I cut some off of this to make it fit and then it goes up about a little over halfway and that pads that whole thing then I made a thumb piece right here because that's how I like to grip like that and then right here I just laid some and put some hot glue around like that and then once I had it on I just put a bunch in that hole so that's how I patted out the Alpha Trooper and it's pretty much the same theory with this I just laid on like I basically just kind of roughly measured it and laid on a layer then like another layer and then I did like six um, like strips that kind of overlap and I did two layers of three so six then I did like two more half sheets and while the hot glue was still warm what I did is I just pressed it against my shoulder really hard so it kind of is formed a little bit and it's super comfy um, it's not as important with this. I mean, I don't have like a ton of spring in it, but it's still nice and comfy and squishy and super nice for your stock. So you can do that to basically any Nerf gun that you want, unless I'm trying to think of a reason why you couldn't, but I can't. So you can do that to any Nerf blaster, any attachment. I don't see why, I can't think of why you would want to do it to like an optic or something, but if you just wanted to kind of make it more custom and so you could tell it apart from other people's, then you can go for it. So yeah, that is how I had my Nerf blasters. I'm pretty sure like all of this was like a buck at Dollar Tree dollar store and it had more because I used some and uh, yeah also if you don't want to use hot glue you can just use some duct tape 
I tried that originally. It doesn't look quite as clean. And one downside of hot glue is it's going to be a little bit more difficult when you are ready to split the shell open at some point, like if you need to do maintenance or something on it. Um, I think it would probably be possible to take like an X-Acto knife and just cut along the seam. Um, but I kind of laid hot glue over it, so that would be a bit more difficult. But basically, it just makes it more comfy to use if you're trying to get that kind of thing. So, that is pretty much the only reason why you would do that. But, uh, yeah, that is my tutorial. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.